G'day guys, it's me Zinkberg and welcome back to the Craftworks SMP. This is Season 2, Episode 2. It's very exciting. Spawnville has changed dramatically. This is really hard to do while I'm in this uh, mode here. Ooh, from your pal Lucky Lane, where with pride, let's go into first person and just have a quick look here. Um, I'm always a little bit cautious. I'm going to stand next to my dog with no name. And if my dog dies because of something that Lane does, then, then it's on Lane. Oh, look what it is. So here's the little thing. We won't tell him. Um, but I already have a turtle head. But now I've got one to where now I can be... I don't know if you guys got to see... <laughs> It's really hard to show from this angle. Look, if I move really quickly, you can see the eyes. I, in the last, uh, last season, I went through a thing where I was saying that it was a dinosaur head. And now I have one. So, so there's a special thing happening with heads this season. And uh, I have one for the... One for the special thing, which I'm not allowed to talk about yet. And now I have a spare one. But I will I will just keep that. Look, we'll put that in our special thing next to our carrots. So in there so I can grab it when I need to and go for a walk. So as I was saying, spawn has changed dramatically. And lots of stuff has been going up. And, and it it's really beautiful. The, the hard thing is it's hard to know what to show and what not to show. Um... But anyway, so so let me let me show you something I did. So on the weekend, I managed to get a group of the crafters together all in one spot, and chaos ensued. Unfortunately, so much chaos it was very hard to for me to get a decent recording of it. If you check out some of the other guys, they might have videos out there. I know uh, both Lane and Tobes have put out their live events from the day they were both streaming, um, and. Uh, and there's lots of fun in that. Unfortunately, from my perspective, a lot of the fun was audio rather than video. So I'm going to hit you with a really lengthy time lapse, much longer than I normally do, of the building of a bridge with friends. And and this just shows what you can do when you get a group of people together and and everybody sort of works together for a common goal. It's It's really amazing. So check this out.
Okay, so every now and then in this game, particularly on an SMP, you get taken a bit aback, and particularly on an SMP, when you build stuff you st yourself and you, come, you stand back and you have a look at it and you think, wow, this is gorgeous. It, it, that happens, right? I get that feeling. Sometimes I get a bit breathless by something that I've done myself when I step out and have a look at it for the first time. When Oda built this building, I just thought, wow, Oda has stepped so far out of his comfort zone to build this in this beautiful style, and it's such a gorgeous build. When I saw Isabox's build here behind me, the, for a tiny little water tower, it's just so beautiful and so well decorated and things. She has a real eye for detail and, and perspective. Uh, Empress Little Bit here with her, um, her upside down train cart that just looks so good. Goose's... Uh, Goose is building over to the right there. That just the colours and the the beautiful way that he's grabbed some different tones and things like that is just gorgeous. Cube above my head there. Cube's build is just amazing. Everybody's builds have been amazing, but these two builds here are exceptional. If you are not subscribed to these two, you are missing out on, I swear to you, two of the best builders in Minecraft. Um, Millie Thompson and Toblox have just built the most amazing builds. I stood here and made fun of Tobes' building last week and, and had a bit of fun with him on that, but I'm sorry, I'm meant to be talking about a bridge, but this thing here is just unbelievable. The detail that's gone into that. I need to sleep for a second. Let me do that. Okay, so all of the little details, and I hope he's shown everything on his video. If not, I'm so sorry, Tobes. Um, but every little detail on this build here, I am sure was intentionally placed to make sure that it looked a part of what Millie had done. And and Millie's build here, look at this top area with these little flowers, there's air conditioning units, like it's, there is so much detail in everything she does. And Tobes has just accented that so beautifully. Um, th this area is just gorgeous. And, and looking at all the ideas you can steal. <laughs> Melissa's little circus tent thing. I love it. It's so beautiful. I mean, I could I could spend all day just just walking around looking at all that. I don't know if I'm allowed to show the thrift works yet, but um, that's something else Millie has done. And and here we have this bridge. And and now that I've played out that the beauty of all of that over there, it's it's hard to come over here and say how proud I am of this build. What's the best way to do this? To show the details and then show the bridge? I feel like that's the way to do it. So let's let's start with, so underneath here, some of the things that, that happened, right? So we started with this section, you saw it in the time-lapse, that was these three bricks that went across the stairs, the, the polished deep slate and, and the other side with the stairs. Um, and the idea behind that was that was going to be the structural sort of part to the underside of the road to make it feel rigid and, and firm. And then we placed down a cobblestone road which, which has since uh, been removed and, and we've, we've redone all of the road. And we'll talk a bit about the road in a minute. Then underneath the, the instruction I gave was, guys, go go wild with this thing like to a degree let's have these things placed in certain spots and then how about you put your own flavor on them how about you make them look your own sort of design and i gave a rough idea by building this one here that was just a very basic you know structure that that i haven't done anything to and then the guys came through so all of the guys who were here um have just done the most magnificent job, these little tricks. This here, I think his name, this was Jittery's idea. Um, just looks so cool on the edge there. Like so it's a design because we have invisible armor frames. Um, you can put a little little birch sapling there. Now I happen to know some shenanigans went on. I found one of the shenanigans things up here. So there's Featherfetch's head up there. Um, I happen to know that in behind this piece of gravel, Oh, it's better to go from the other side. Let's go from the other side. 
that Lane was here. And when Lane is here, there's always going to be something silly going on. We've been trying to reach you regarding your car's extended warranty. Beautiful. Thank you, Lane. That's gorgeous. Uh, I know Toblox, to Toblox put down some apples here. There are some vines and things here. Um, your feather played a part in this one here. K-Hug, um, he built a beautiful one here, and then I extended it out to have these pillars that are um, sort of became the supports for these gates and these towers. Um, then... I came across, um, and I don't know, I don't think any of this made it into time lapse. So we've got this detail here, which are the archways and supports, which are, by the way, MC Oda, completely structurally sound. Uh, I'll have you know. Well, they are now after. <laughs> Oda made a joke about uh, they didn't look very structural uh, when, I, when I built them, so I had to go back and fix them all. Um, let's, let's throw some shaders on and just have a look. Um, oh, that's very blue, but that's okay. Um, but this is, right, this is what the bridge looks like. And look at this as you come up to it here. It just looks so beautiful. I, I, <laughs> I'm my own biggest fan, and <laughs> I always have been. Um, but it just looks gorgeous. It just, just imagine coming up here in a boat or something and seeing that. It just really looks great. Um, I will take this moment um, to. Oh wait, actually, let me explain. So I put some vines in here, and I've put some supports up. Um, with just trapdoors and things like that. Just up here in there, I've got a light, so it just lights up the around the area and the polished, um, sorry, the, the deep slate tiles in the middle there. Um, yeah, we put the pillars and everything across, and across the other side here, we've got more of the same sort of stuff. I'll take this time to, to mention the members of Craftworks who helped out with this. So we had Feather Fetcher, K Hug, Lucky Lane Zero, MC Oda, Millie Thompson, uh, Toblox, and Jitterybug. I hope I haven't forgotten anyone. If I have, I'm so sorry. I'm, I, my memory is like a sieve. Um, okay, they all helped and they all did a magnificent job. Just the best job. Um, I've done some of the shading up here, but I haven't finished the shading that's around that area yet. Just a little bit short of time and uh, yeah, we, we're getting there. Now let's... Talk about these roads, shall we? <laughs> um, so, yeah, the hard thing when you get other people to help is that if you're a control freak like me, you want things done a certain way, but you also want to give people the freedom to do what they want. Now, Oda and I went over these edges quite a bit. We went with this polished andesite, and I think it looks great. Um, the road itself here, it, I wanted it to be sort of plain coming up to the actual bridge. And then, so we've got the deep slate bricks and some cracked and some polish down the sides. And then here it was all going to change. And um, Jitterybug and I think Millie threw some, inf some stuff in there. We had some of the, Lane was on a stream and we had some of his, um, some of his members giving tips as well as, um, Toblox's, some of Toblox's audience as well from his stream. And together we put together this really beautiful pathway, which then I went and pulled apart <laughs> and sort of made it a little bit more plain. And the reason why is because it was looking so beautiful that it was sort of distracting from the rest of the bridge. It was, it was sort of a little overbearing. So I've just gone through and we've taken it back to a, a, a more simplistic sort of style. Um, it, it's nice, it's got those copper grates which are fun to walk on, and then we've got all of the other, sorry about the camera work there, that's that's awesome. Um, and the chiseled is in there, the, the deep slate, we've got deep slate tiles, we've got deep slate bricks, we've got some tough, the chiseled tough blocks, tops on them. It just, just looks really good, I, I think, I'm so in love with this thing. Oh, um, okay, let's go over. Sorry, I'm a bit scatterbrained. Let's go over the um, the gates up the ends. Uh, oh, 
Should I? No, yeah. Yeah, we'll go over the gates at the end. Okay, so with these, I've gone with strip spruce uh, for these areas here. Then gone with th we've got things like the shroom lights down the bottom then in here we've got some of the walls some deep slate brick walls so using the walls on the corners here and in the middle and up here um because then it, it has a bit more of a 3d sort of texture and then using the chisels for an accent there and then coming up the top bringing them back in again so that there, there's no way up at the moment we might need to fix that and then you've got the little road going across here. Um, it just it just really looks good. And this bridge is actually based on a bridge in Australia, very loosely, the Hampton Bridge um, in Kangaroo Valley. And it it theirs is more like a sandstone. It's an old English style bridge. Um, but anyway, so the shape of it is similar. I've got these funny things. I don't know what they are or what they do. It's sort of meant to look a bit like a gate, but it's not meant to be a gate at the same time. Um, I need to sleep again. Let me sleep. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. I'll try and get my thoughts together as I sleep. <laughs> okay. I think, I think I'm okay. <laughs> I think I'm all right. I guess one of the points I was trying to sort of make, it, it, I mean, it's a lot a lot to say about a, a build that's very beautiful. And I, you know, things like these couple, copper bulbs, I, I really love those. I really love that someone from a stream sort of mentioned it. So it became more than just Craftworks, the members, it became Craftworks, the community. And that's what I love about an SMP is, is having a community of fans and things like that as well. Um, we do have a fan discord, by the way, if you haven't checked it out, um, I will put a link in, in the description for the, for the bio. Um, up the end here, we, I think K-Hug is going to dig into the mountain there and the road is going to continue um, through. I'm not sure he's coming up with a machine to do that or doing it by hand. And then over here, we might put some stuff like there's this is just a great bridge which is going to lead to something else away from Spawnville as Spawnville sort of spreads, you know. Um, it's it's really just such a magnificent area and, and I really look forward to what this becomes, you know, this bridge leading over across the thing and, and, and what we can do together as a group. Um, that's going to just about do me for this week, guys. I'm, I'm really... Um, this was it, you know, the bridge is the whole thing. And I want to th thank everyone who was involved in it and those that weren't. I know that you would have come if you could have. And I'm, I'm, I'm sort of sorry that we couldn't get everyone together in one place to build this thing. But um, it, it, it turned out magnificent. I'm, I'm so proud. I, I, I can't say enough about how good this is. It's it's really is truly one of my favorite builds. So um, you guys have a magnificent week and I, I, I love you all to death and all the usual stuff I say at the end. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, the other thing, the other great thing about doing all of this was that I, when you look at what's happening around Spawnville, Everything has been sort of these little personal things and now we have this big community build, this huge big build to show that we can build the big stuff. You know, we're allowed to build great big stuff and just for a moment in time, I have the biggest build on the server, which is this big long bridge that goes across there. And and aside from, you know, all these beautiful houses that people have built on either side of here, that bridge really stands out as you go down the road. It's the one road that has something big and beautiful and amazing on it. And it's something that I came up with and I'm really happy. Hey, Zing, Zing, check out my build, man. This is I, awesome. Oh, are you kidding me? You 